<laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like a new name. Always love that. So let's give a warm welcome to Ron Taylor. Ron Taylor. RT. All right, what's up? I live in a van. <laughs> this shit is hard. You know you're doing bad in life when you wake up to a ticket on your house. <laughs> Every day I see white women walking their dogs and I realize I just want to be successful so I can live as freely as a white woman's dog. <laughs> like they don't worry about shit, literally. They have other people pick it up. I'm from Detroit, a lot of places you gotta wear a dress code and it's fucked up because it don't be a dress code as much as it is a list of shit young black people wear. It's like no hats, no jerseys, no ball caps, no tennis shoes, just say it, no niggas, I get it. <laughs> it's like you know where the fuck we at Detroit, I can't wear no loafers in here. I need traction, I need gym shoes. I'm gonna need to take off, get rid of the metal detectors, then I'll put on some Stacey Adams, to then fuck you. All right, that's it. I'm Ron Taylor. That's it. Exactly a minute. Boom. Ron Taylor, you're hilarious. How long have you been on stand-up in Detroit? Uh, about, it'll be six years in January. Yeah, nice. Thanks, Good. brother. Funny. Shows. Thank you, thank you. There's got to be something in that, uh, the, v the Detroit thing, the transition of, into why you live in your van is because you're from Detroit, and in Detroit that's considered a two-bedroom house or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Motor City. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Funny. Actually, actually, that's true because cars actually cost more than half the houses in Detroit. So, <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. Why do you live in a in your van? I'm I'm poor. You live it. You live in the van in Detroit, or you live in the van <laughs> here? here oh, yeah. two white guys. I uh, sorry. Why would a person live in a van <laughs> <laughs> when they make houses in the hills? I <laughs> I don't. Uh, is, are you a free spirit, or is it an adventure <laughs> thing? <laughs> Well, where do you keep the shower in this yeah, van? Just, um, uh, no, I'm I'm just poor, and then I, I go <laughs> I go to LA Fitness and take showers, and go to Rouse and take shits. Wow, <laughs> why Rouse? That's crazy. That's a great plan, dude. That. That's, That's great. <laughs> yeah. I'm you're sure LA you're Fitness. You're homeless. That. Yeah, I I mean I no, it's real homeless people out there. But uh, no, you're I, really homeless. Yeah. You are. <laughs> But you're, you look good. That's but important. Not, but you're not vanless, and that's right. what's most important. Yeah, what kind of van? It's a uh, E150. It's Whoa. a Ford. Yeah, Somebody Ford, just went, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a that's a van you want to live in right there. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he might have a potential roommate back there. He sounds excited. <laughs> <laughs> Two-bedroom minivan. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good. You could even say something like that. Like uh, I had to kick my roommate out. You know, like uh, you know oh, something yeah. about like a hitchhiker or something. That's funny. Yeah. They, they, I have had a roommate for like two days, Trey, Trey Stewart, but fuck him. Oh, Tra fuck Trey wow. Stewart. No, fuck Trey oh, Stewart yeah. for real. I hate that guy, yeah, man. Fuck Trey yeah. Stewart. Maybe it's like yeah. I had to kick my roommate out, uh, but then I had to have him sign the pink. I had to have something about your dad signing the pink slip over to you, basically. I don't know. So, yeah, all right, yeah, maybe yeah. not. No. Yeah. I fucked with And there might also be something funny and like maybe like uh, maybe, you know, but it's nice like sometimes you park it in the in the hills, you know, <laughs> and you, and you feel, and it makes you feel rich until yeah. you for until you forget to put the e the e brake on, and then you're <laughs> and then and then you're back. Actually, yeah. now that now you say that, I actually think the interaction that we had is pretty much a a a, a done joke, which was you say I live in a van, and you say I told a white guy that, oh, and he yeah, was like, yeah, "Why yeah. do you live in a van?" And you're yeah. like, "Motherfucker, I'm poor." Yeah. <laughs> and then you know you could do my act out, which got a great response. I give that to you. <laughs> I think that's a joke, though. That's I do. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna be homeless much longer, man. No, I that's think true. You're yeah. really no. funny. Like your whole act from top to bottom is like you even knew when you like. It's not saying you knew. It was 60 seconds, but you were just like, boom, I think I'm done. This it's perfect. true. Everything and was you, perfect. And you never know. Uh, Carmichael Show season two might add a little brother out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, like, hey, Gerard, <laughs> we found your little brother. He was wow. a way, yeah. way to give dreams to the young black comics of America. <laughs> <laughs> and you never know. You might be able to get a job on on uh, on one show. On that, There's one, on, show. That one, on that one show, you guys. <laughs> one <laughs> black show. On the black yeah. show. No. Hey, do you have a job? No, man. Are you Not looking yet. for a job? 
Yeah, shit, yeah. I mean, so you were, like, out there pounding the pavement or whatever, and then... Well, barely, man, because, like, back in Detroit, I didn't have to work. I just did comedy and made money. But right. Now I'm bottom You're of the barrel again, so... Right. I got to find some job, but we'll see. And, and where do you park your van? <laughs> Wherever <laughs> I run out of gas. I'm sorry, really, what's your neighborhood? <laughs> no, but yeah, where do you where usually your location park right now? Like, where are you so, park? So, all right, there's, like, a Ralph's on Sunset, uh-huh. and then I just park between there, so when the sun come up, like it don't turn my van to an oven, so I gotta park in shade. Right. As a hey, I relate to the don't want to be in an oven situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our people have struggled enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. might be able. Yeah, I when, when Hitler used to stack the Jews <laughs> in those E one fifties and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Yo, man. I think I I might have a job for you. Uh, would you sell donuts for a living? Yeah, man. All right, shit. I just I have a friend who's opening a donut place. You're so funny. I want I want to make you employed because what I see happen is that sometimes people come to L. A. and then they they struggle for a minute and then they just bounce, especially if they live in a place that you can just turn the ignition on and yeah. move back to Detroit yeah. <laughs> without leaving your house. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, Why, anyway, thank you, man. I'm with it, brother. Like I listen to your to your podcast, man. Oh yeah, like, of course you do. Like, yeah, yeah. Every Every day, cause I don't have I don't have TV, so all I can do is like listen to shit. So I'm with it, man. Yeah, cool. I mean, it's funny, right? Well, that's funny. great. Look at that. Very the dreams funny, coming man. true. Jobs at donut shops, guys. <laughs> uh, that's the it's type of crazy stuff that can happen on. Uh, but it, no, I mean, it's just because I want him to keep doing comedy. No, I, you love know? I don't. That. I don't think of you as a donut man. <laughs> I, I just want you to do donuts until you can become the comic you're supposed to be. <laughs> can oh, you yeah. c- can you bring your house uh, Friday to the ice house and do the death squad show? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Dreams are coming true. Wait. This guy if- just got a gig. And a job. Wait. What if he? What if he was like, Nah, man. Sorry, I can't make it. That would have been. <laughs> That would have been the best. I have an appointment at LA Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> have you fucked in the van yet? Not here, no. Not here. Uh, did you? Where, you drove. Where, yeah. Where did you fuck in the van? Like in Detroit. Oh, in Detroit. Yeah. It's because you had a house. Yeah. As well. It's, it's fun to fuck in a van as an option, not as a necessity. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Good. So you yeah, have man. a house in Detroit. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Right. It's it's just, like, like you said. Ford like, Fiesta or. <laughs> 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 right, that'd be funny if he had that'd be funny if he had a Ford Fiesta in Hawaii, you know? It's like, oh I have a summer home, of course. <laughs> yeah. You know what you could do is you could pick up chicks out here in LA. What you do is you just, you know, you take them on a little date, little yeah. cheap date, and then you just pull in front of a nice big house. <laughs> and you're like, you know what, let's just right. sit outside for a little bit. I have my sister over right now, you know, she's hogging up the whole place. She's yeah. awake with her kids. I'm letting them play inside. But you say we just hang out here in the car and talk a little bit. <laughs> See right. what I'm saying? Yeah, she, she's idea, like, that's man. so cool you live in that mansion. Hey, why is there a this month like worth of dirty laundry <laughs> here, though? <laughs> <laughs> and why are there 17 <laughs> boxes of donuts in the back? <laughs> And why is Red Band sleeping there? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Ron, what else? What what uh, what do you do for fun? Uh, I just chase it pussy for right now, man. How's that going for <laughs> you? Down the street in your house? No. I almost <laughs> fucked the day at uh, Black Friday. I almost fucked. Oh, me. yeah. Congrats. That's yeah. your day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. How'd you, uh, how did it almost go down? Where were you? I was, in her, I was in her apartment. And wow, uh, wow. How did you see Hello, you, you, you just started freaking out about the luxury. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't play it cool. It was a bad look. Whoa, where do you keep your steering wheel in this place? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, what is this? What's this metal thing that if you turn the knob, the water comes out of it? <laughs> yeah, do you cook on your, like, cigarette lighter, like, one noodle at a time no. or something like that? What? <laughs> one, like, Totino's yeah. pizza roll, just <laughs> gotta put it back in. No, I've got, a, I've got, like, a little camper stove in there with a butane little stove. And Fuck, I just yeah. Shit. That's cool. Yeah. Well, don't burn yourself in a fire before <laughs> Friday night at the ice house. Uh, I know, man. That, Cause that sounds like quite the hazard you have. Maybe park in front of a fire station <laughs> before you <laughs> cook a meal. Um, yeah. But I want to know how'd you get? To, uh, how did? Where'd you meet this girl that you got all the way back to her apartment? Uh, well, on Thanksgiving, I cussed her out and told her uh, some shit. There you go. Yeah. Charming young man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, He's abusive <laughs> and lives in a van. <laughs> 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 On Thanksgiving. 
I, I, I told him about it. But I cussed her out because, like, her titties kept coming out. And oh, I got to hate that. Why would you cuss her out if her titties <laughs> yeah, kept coming out? It Who, made, and she's not mad that you're living in a van. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, made, it made everybody uncomfortable. Who's this Where everybody? were you at? At, like, dinner? Yeah. Like, at Thanksgiving dinner in the van? Yeah. No, no, no. I got invited <laughs> like you over had another friends place. Over. At the, just, where was, were you at? At the Laugh Factory? No. She was... <laughs> <laughs> She was <laughs> yeah, there's an email that's like, Jamie likes to host an annual Thanksgiving titty viewing <laughs> if you want to come <laughs> by. You have to be pretty into comedy to even get yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Forget it, forget it. Um, yeah. She's just very comfortable being half naked, and I said, if they come out, I'm going to look. She laughed and then invited me over the next day and almost fucked her, but I, I had a show to do, so I left. That's when you wow. cancel the you, show. You, yeah, you, <laughs> okay. Dude, yeah. you live in a yeah. van. Yeah. You should take whatever pussy you can get. Yeah, you yeah. need to. That's a house. No, right? I think like you like live in a van. You should take whatever gigs you can get, so you can get some money, so that you can get an apartment, so that you can get ever more pussy. You know, <laughs> a poor man. Give a man a fish, he will eat for a day. Right. Give a man a gig, <laughs> he will get pussy for the rest of his life. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That is that true. That was idea. That was the thought. <laughs> so yeah. I have a feeling uh, you're going to be getting a lot of pussy and you'll be out of the van very soon. I like now the inspirational thing for the other guys. Like, you're going to get a lot of money. You're really going to be successful. And you someday your dick will get wet. It will be wet again. Yeah. Maybe, maybe take your time though. Maybe don't. May, maybe don't just go straight to apartment. You know. Maybe add a nice trailer hitch to the back of the van yeah. at some point. You know. Make it a. Yeah. Do you ever treat yourself to like a U-Haul? Yeah. No. 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 You know, turn that party into a two-bedroom. You know what I mean? Well, I've got the I've got the hookup for it, but I fuck that. No. Storage facility? No. I just treat myself to buffets, man. That's it. When I get twenty dollars, I go eat crab legs. That's it. Ah, oh, I like wow. that. There you go. That's man, you are, you really are black. That is yeah. so good. <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah. He's That's living a in a van, yeah. but still has to have a crab leg once That's in a while. Totally. That's that, beautiful. That's Detroit for you right there. Yeah, I love man. that. It's um, so how long you been out of there? I mean, uh, I've been out here for about a month. I've been living in a van for about a month. Wow, <laughs> you're so fucking funny. Thank and you, this is going to be one of those yeah. fun times that we all look back on and say we saw that hilarious guy talking about living in a van. Yep. Because it. you're, you got it. Don't yeah. give up. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah, very good. Thank you, thank Ron you. Taylor, everybody. There, there he goes. Go, man. He's on Twitter at Comedian Rant. Catch him at the Ice House on Friday. And... Catch him at the new donut shop, which I'm guessing is in Los Feliz. It's in Silver Lake. It's a, <laughs> it's a <laughs> no, no, no. It's better, better than you. It's way better than you think. It's called the Donut Farm. It's a vegan, organic donut shop. Of course it is. <laughs> his My friends, his is. friends in Detroit are gonna find out he's working there and kill him. <laughs> no, don't come back to the D. It's not good for you here right now. We heard about the donuts, man. <laughs> Yo, man, he's sold out. He's working at a vegan donut shop in Silver Lake. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be interviewing my buddy Trey Stewart. I'm going to make this meal real fast and invite him in. So... We're in here. Okay, so Trey Stewart, welcome. Oh. So we are in North Hollywood right now on what street is this? Magnolia? Yes. This is Magnolia? Yeah. A lot of women over here. A lot of, yeah. A lot, a lot of, of what lot are of they, them. all dancers? Uh, I'm sure some of them are. A lot of, a lot of strong legs. A lot of thick, yeah. white women. Uh huh. Beautiful, <laughs> bodacious <laughs> white women. Yeah, and some black girls. 